Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So, uh, my beautiful client here came in to get a tapered cut and also get some um, product information on how to better take care of her hair, that kind of thing. So, the good thing is she has a beautiful color, by the way. I forgot to say that. The color is really good. Thank you. I like the salt and pepper. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a huge fan of it. I think it has spunk to it, so I like that. Um, so, what we're going to do today, guys, is we're going to do a tapered cut. And then we're also going to use a little bit of um, violet shampoo to kind of get rid of that um, hazy tinge and bring back some of the life to her silver or silver streaks is what we call it. And then we'll talk about hair care for her and what she do at home. Everybody's saying good morning, good morning, good morning. And they say good morning, client. They say good morning, client. <laughs> so let me be very, very open, you guys. I'm not a barber. I know how to do a tapered cut. I know how to make my way through. But I am not Pablo, okay? <laughs> so, if you're a barber, stay where you are. Okay. I'm just tying up this dress because it's so long. All right, so we, I actually got a new trimmer yesterday. I'm so excited. I'm a tool junkie, y'all. So, I got my trimmer to match my clippers. If y'all don't know, I like gold. So, anything you buy me, buy it in gold, and I'll be happy. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start with her sides and her back. What I always like to do is to um, section off the top because I know that area I'm not even going to really mess with right now. And then we go through and start the preliminary cut. Which, here we go. I needed some clips. And so we'll start with the preliminary cut. We'll shampoo her, treat her. Do all that good stuff, which you guys will be able to see, and then we'll go from there. So whenever you're doing a, taper, a tapered cut, you always want to find the parietal ridge of the head, which is that part right here where your finger drops down. That is the part of the head that you consider to be the crown, anything above it. So I usually do not cut into that area because you want to give that, that width on the head. So if you feel it, you'll feel your parietal ridge. A lot of times people don't know that the anatomy of the head, the structure of the head actually does matter in a haircut. Mm. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and clip this area off. Look at me, Mama. And I don't do a straight line. I always do a jagged line because with a tapered cut, it's not supposed to be uniform. It's supposed to flow. Okay? So we know that this area is going to be where we're going to fade in to that area. So I'm going to start with my babyless clippers. Took down for me, mama. Right now I'm using a five. The guard is five. Or number five. So I like to use, I start large and then work my way into the small. And then you always wanna make sure that you check your profile. That's very important. clipper in the open open phase
So we have not shampooed her yet on purpose. I like to do the cutting when the hair is dry and then shampoo her. Because if you're going to shampoo before you do it, unless they have like product or something in their hair, there's no point of shampooing first. It's better to cut first and then shampoo so that you can really shampoo the hair that actually is going to be there. So you can kind of see her profile as we go. guard that I just used was a number two. I'm going to go down to a one and a half and then I'll finish out with the one in this area. And the blade is still open. Good morning. All right, so you guys can tell where we're going with this. If you notice, it's nine, and now it's faded down on all sides. I'm gonna put this off for one second. So I'm going to take out the top so you guys can kind of see where we're going with this. Let me know if I'm 
hurt any monkeys. No, it's not fair. I tend to do. <laughs> So you're supposed to be able to see the profile. We're not 100% there yet because now we have to actually blend or connect the top with the sides in the back, which is really, really easy because we've done all the work on the sides in the back. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do that. Okay, so you can do it one of two ways. You can use your clippers, which is what I'm going to start with. Please, do not move. Okay. Okay. And then if you look, as we go, it starts to look that way. Now you can see her shape. Now she has an entire tapered cut. If you guys like what you see so far, please don't forget to thumbs up this live. Please don't forget to also put a um, one in the chat if you like what you see.
so much. I appreciate you for simplifying that. Now I can go ahead and go forward. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, you guys. Sorry, I had to mute it because I was on a call. So um, what I'm doing right now is just edging her or giving her a hairline. So if you notice, it's nice and clean and crisp. And then as I was doing so, I noticed that down here still needs to be faded out a little bit more. So I'm just going to go through and do just that. They love my fancy clippers. <laughs> Ow. Thank you, guys. All right, so I'm going to take her over to um, the shampoo bowl, and you guys will get to watch that part of the process as well. And we'll talk a little bit about um, shampooing her, even though she has silver streaks, that kind of thing. Um, and you guys get to go through all of that with me. So what I'm going to have you do, let me you can take your mask off for me. Let me blow it off. <laughs> Open it up for me. All right. Alright, so we're gonna go over to the shampoo bowl. Don't put it on your oh, ears okay. because you're gonna hold it on your face okay. again anyway. Okay. So head over to the shampoo bowl for me. I'm gonna take you guys over to the shampoo bowl with us. So you get to get product knowledge. All that stuff today. The cut looks good on you. That's what they said. The cut looks good on you. Oh, slow down. There we go. All right. Slide on back a little. So, there you go. Right there. Take these out of here. Okay. So now we've already done majority of the work, which is the cut. Okay. So we're going to be using three different products today. I'm going to use my Pravana. Um, Violet Toning Shampoo. I'm also going to use our Minty Collection, which is our newest shampoo and conditioner. Okay? And then the toning shampoo will be the last step because we don't want to tone her first before we shampoo her, okay? And condition her. Well, shampoo her and then condition. And then because her hair seems a little bit more on the dry side, I'm gonna eliminate the Minty Conditioner. And I'm going to add the Moisture ELT conditioner to add more moisture to her hair. All right, so we're going to start by just wetting her hair down. I'm using warm water at this point. Everybody says they love your cut. Mm -hmm. Okay, warm water. We'll go ahead and use a little bit of our Herbal Detox Shampoo to cleanse the hair. This is going to act as our clarifying shampoo. You always want to start with a clean canvas before you use your treatment shampoos. So we're going to use a little bit of the minty shampoo. How does it feel on your scalp? It's good, man. Mm -hmm. So 
trying to let that conditioner, um, what is it called? Like the hydrating, is it hydrating? Hydrating string? Something, yeah, I like that. that. I spray that and it feels like a little minty, a little tingle like. Mm -hmm. It has a little tingle to it. Mm. Very mild. Alright, so I'm going to make sure that so we rinse all of our shampoo out. With shorter cuts, I like to use shampoo like minty because you're more exposed to the elements, so you itch more. So we are going to use our toning shampoo on her hair. Okay, so I'm gonna put some in my hand. If you notice, it is a very, very violet or purple color. This is on purpose, you guys. This is to help tone out any negative colors like yellow, specifically yellow, out of the hair. So we put it on. Okay, and we're gonna let that sit on her hair for a minute or two while we talk really quick. So she wanted to know um, how to take care of it, what she needs to do. She has a little bit of thinning in her crown. Am I right? Mm -hmm. A little bit of thinning in her crown. What products do you already have? No, I just ordered your moisture, um, the ELT, the conditioner shampoo, and then like I said, okay. your hydrating. Okay, so she has the moisture ELT shampoo and conditioner, which is actually perfectly fine. She's coarse textured, so that goes really, really well with her hair type and her hair texture. Is going to help support the fact that she's coarse and low porosity and her hair is always lacking in moisture and always feels very dry. Do you go under a dryer when you put it on? No, should I? Okay, yes. Okay. So that is where um, the assistance is needed. So I asked her does she go under the dryer when she uses her conditioner. She said no. That is definitely something that I would stress to add to the process. That will help the hair feel a little more hydrated than anything else because when you're low porosity, the cuticle's closed. Mm. So you need to open the cuticle up so that it can soak in the conditioner, mm. okay? So you're just gonna add that step to what you're doing already, okay? okay? Um, in regards to the sparseness in her front <clears throat> and in her crown, I'd also add probably the super regrowth to your regimen, yeah, where you can put it. that on. But uh, how many times did I just use it once? Once a day, Okay. just once a day, you put it in your trouble areas. She asks how, many, how often does she use it? once a day in her troubled areas, okay? She's natural, she wears her hair out, so it's not something where you have to worry about weighing the hair down, more say, and it only goes on the scalp, okay? And then um, she uses the, is it hydration and strength leave-in conditioner that you're using? Mm -hmm. The hydration and strength leave-in conditioner is perfectly fine, or you can use the moisture ELT leave-in conditioner, either or. Okay. So you already are already doing the well, like stuff, you just need to it. add oh, the dryer, yeah, okay. add the heat, mm -hmm. and that's gonna help, okay? okay? And then with her hair, when you have a shortcut, people want to wash their hair very, very often. I, don't, I wouldn't wash it more than at least once a week. Okay? Once a week is good. All right, so what you guys see me doing is moving the shampoo around, checking out where I'm at. The worst thing you can do, guys, is leave the shampoo on too long, and then your client has violet-colored hair. Okay? <laughs> So you definitely don't want to leave it on too long, okay? You want to put it on, let it start doing its thing. Now, if the hair is extremely brassy, like a yellowy color, you can also use developer on the hair to kind of help remove some of that tinge, like on her ends. You used to color your hair at one point? It was. A, a, okay. Yeah, I can tell she, she was off. colored yeah. at one point. So her ends are, of course, a different color, but we're not, we're not going to be able to do anything about that unless we color it, which we're not excuse me, we're not doing. So what we're doing is just helping to remove any of that yellow cast from her gray hair using the Violet Shampoo, okay? There are so many different companies that you can use for that. There's not one in specific. I use Pravana, that's my go-to for any of my color care products. But outside of that, you can use whatever company you choose. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and rinse this off. And sometimes you have to do this more than once if needed. So what I'm going to do while she is on here, 
I'm going to turn on my hydration machine because she's going to get a hydration treatment. Trying to help with her moisture. So I'm going to plug that in. Let's turn it on so that it can start to heat up. So she's going to get a hydration treatment. You guys will get to see that part as well. I'm just making sure that I'm rinsing out all of the shampoo from her hair. No purple hair. <laughs> no purple. <laughs> all right. So we're going to use the Moisture ELT conditioner. So I'm going to squeeze out any excess water. You know what I'll actually do? Tilt up for me just a little bit. I'm going to actually towel dry her slightly because when you go in the hydration machine, if your hair is dripping wet, it's just going to add more water yeah, to drip okay. even more. All right, tilt back for me. So I'm going to take the Moisture ELT. Put it on all parts of her hair. Okay, just take our wide tooth comb and just comb through it. All right, sit up for me. And then go ahead and have a seat in my chair. Okay. So she's going to go into my chair and we're going to put the hydration machine up for her so you guys will get to see. If you notice, I did not put a processing cap on her. When you are using the hydration machine, you do not use a processing cap. Okay, it's not required. It's actually blocking the hydration. It's actually blocking the hydration more than anything else. All right. So I'm going to bring you guys around here so you can see what's happening. You can put it on all the way because you'll be under there for a little bit. Okay, so this is the hydration machine. The one that you can use at home on the table will look like this. It just won't have the stand on it. All right, let's turn it around this way. Bring my chair all the way down. Tilt it down on her head. And then she'll be under here for about five minutes. I'll say 10 the max. In the meantime, I hope you guys can see how this works. So she's sitting under, she has no processing cap, just her raw hair. You don't want to put the team all the way down on your head. This is how you get burnt, okay? You want to leave it right at the forehead level so that that seam can start to escape. And I always open this. Now, if you want to close it to get even more in there, you can, okay? So it should be under there until the timer goes off. Guys, in the meantime, let me sweep up this hair really quick, and then we'll chat in just a second.
Under the hydration machine, let me see if I have any questions that I might be able to answer for you guys. They said, wow, she's getting a facial too. <laughs> uh, Crystal, can I wash my hair with the detox shampoo after coloring my hair? Um, I wouldn't do the detox shampoo after coloring because it may run the risk of stripping the color. I go straight into, um, actually before your color, I probably do the detox and then the color without scrubbing the scalp. And then after the detox and after the color, then you can go into your moisture or your conditioner from that point. If your hair has a relaxer, how often can you use the goddess serum? You wanna use it sparingly. It really depends on the texture of your hair. So I wouldn't say more than like once or twice a week. I've been using my serum twice a day. That's fine. Some people use it in the morning. Some people use it at night. Some people do both. That cut looks good. I wear a short hairstyle as well. I have a lot more gray. I'm gonna let it grow some in the top like that style. Yep, really pretty. My hair is natural, so it was a struggle, but since I found Crystal on YouTube during the pandemic, her hair care and the products are a true blessing. Thank you. That toner keeps the silver nice and bright. Absolutely. OMG Elite, your brows is gorgeous. It's actually a dress. I know I'll show you guys what it looks like so you can see. It's it's a full on dress. This is a dress. So I don't know if you can see it from that far, but she's gonna give it to me though. I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> so it's a dress. It's a whole dress. I got this from Fashion Nova actually. For forty dollars. It comes with a belt, but the belt won't stay on, so I just took the belt off. So yeah, it's a dress. Thank you. I like dresses like this because it makes short people look tall. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. With using your products, how often would you recommend going to a professional outside of touch-ups for any type? Honestly, I would say every two to three weeks, if not once a month. Um, you can do everything at home. You know, that's just like home care for your health. You can take care of your health at home. But you need to see your doctor at least once every quarter to make sure that everything's up to par. So yeah, I would do that. If you have high porosity hair, should you set the same, should you set your the same dry? Uh, no, for high porosity, I probably say don't do more than like five to 10 minutes max. I like it, does your dress have pockets? Yes, it has pockets on both sides. Thank you guys. So she should be almost ready. Her hair is really short, guys, so it doesn't really take a lot. She doesn't have a lot to get through. So it shouldn't take much. Hmm, this hair needs to be redone, buddy. Okay. I don't like it to be like, pew, that irks me. Hmm. All right, let's see where she's at. She said she got a facial, y'all. All right, so we're gonna let it cool for a second. Go ahead and let me move this a little quickly. And then you're gonna come over here to the um, shampoo bowl for me. Okay, so she's gonna come back to the shampoo bowl now. Thank you. So we're gonna tilt her down. Now here is the catch with the hydration treatment, okay? When you go to rinse, come all the way back, there you go. When you go to rinse, you are going to rinse with cold water. I know, I'm sorry. I always get them. <laughs> cold water, okay? This is going to close the cuticle and lock in that shine, okay? It's gonna lock in all that hydration that you just pushed in. I'm still using cool water. I'm making sure that I get all the conditioner out. 
All right, go ahead and squeeze out any excess moisture or water. Spit up a little bit for me, just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna pull you guys back so you can see what's happening. Okay, I'm drying out any of the excess water. I'm going to now spray her down with some hydration and strength leave-in spray. All right, and you're going to go back to my chair. So we're going to go back to my chair, and you guys can see what we do now. Let me tie this up. You can put it behind your ear now. Hmm? Yes, please. So now you guys can kind of see where she is in regards to, thank you, in regards to her cut, okay? So we are going to go ahead and give her a twist out to give her some texture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of frizz tamer and shine serum in my hand. I'm going to cocktail it and mix it with the IMS serum, just one squirt, okay? So I'm gonna mix these two together. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take what you call a coiling sponge and I'm gonna coil the sides of her head first. Now, some people do this when it's dry, some people do it when it's wet. I like to do it when it's wet so I can see where I'm going with my style. Just hold it on your face for one second. So I can see where I'm going with my style. <laughs> she said don't look at the nails she gotta get them done <laughs> okay so if you notice it's just creating that little coil effect that's all it's doing okay and then for the top I'm gonna take some of our elite silk wrap foam this is where I'm gonna go through and rope twist her. Just like that. And I'm gonna get some rods to put on the ends. Just like that.
So all I'm doing is just going through, combing through it first to make sure that I do comb through her hair and rope twist them. You don't want the rope twist to be too big or it's going to take forever to dry. And the reason why I don't rod set it is because it's going to create this look where everything is not going to look cohesive. The top is going to look silky, the bottom is going to look nice and coiled and not silky. I use that word. <laughs> Not so cute. All right, there we go. We're back, you guys. Sorry, my phone died. I'm sure a lot of you miss it now. Should be like 20 people on there. Oh, no, is 80 of you still there? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what you can do to the sides. Um, if by chance you do not have a coiling sponge. So right now I'm still twisting up the top and then I'm going to go through and add the rods to the end. But you want to make sure that you get all of the longer hairs, okay? Like these long hairs here. Try to get these in there if you can. If not, then I'll show you what to do. Thank you, Beverly. All right, so what I'm going to do is take a little bit more foam. Okay. And then I'm going to turn her to the back so you can see these longer hairs. Okay, so these areas here. I can still go through and twist these. So I do want to twist these. But you want to make sure that you twist them in the direction that you want the hair to lay. Which I want the hair to go forward. Like that. Okay? So I want my, my hair to go forward. Then these parts. can take your comb and just comb twist them into the direction that you want them to go. Same thing here. The foam is going to dissipate. So don't worry that you have all this foam. It is going to evaporate when it's under the dryer. You will not see the foam when the hair dries, nor will the hair dry white either. Same thing over here. So we're going to make sure that these hairs are going in the up but to the side position. Like such. that okay and then anywhere else you can kind of rope or comb twist those if you want for some definition that's your choice okay 
And what we're going to do is take our rods. Put it on the ends. If they're right next to each other, you can use two on one ride. It doesn't matter about that part. Okay, this one. Now on the little ones, I'm not gonna put any rides. These in the back here, these longer two, yes. Rods, most definitely. She's going to go under the dryer. You can put your um, mask back on. She's going to go under the dryer. And we're going to allow her hair to dry thoroughly. Um, I think dryer time will be about 30 to 45 minutes maximum. <coughs> only because we wrote twisted them. Um, I'd say about 30 minutes, to be quite honest. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll come back with a part two to this video. So you guys can see the end result and see how the hair looks when we take the coils out and the rope twists out, and the, um, the rods out, and then you'll get to see the finish. Cool? So I'll see everybody in part two. Don't forget, if you're not following me on Instagram, by the way, go and follow me on Instagram, guys. I do put a lot of different videos on my Instagram than what I do on my YouTube. So I'll see you guys in the next video.